Hey there and welcome back. So in the previous video we did a simple test on the welcome route in our API and that seemed to work here uh, that we have a test for that. But uh, the most interesting thing is if we can actually test some of the requests that uh, or the routes that will interface to the database so that we can uh, test whether we get the correct information from the database if we insert it and uh, vice versa. So if we make a new test here first. Let's just make the first boilerplate here. Let's see here. So let's first write one test that is going to verify or to check how many products we have in the database. So we write that should verify that we have zero products in the database. Okay, and before we do this, uh, we need to first import the mongoose model here. So we're just going to do const and the product. And then we're going to require our models and then get our product here. So now we have the mongoose model. We can work on that with the database. All right. So next up is that before we test on the database, it is good practice that we have a clean database and we also clean up afterwards so we can ensure that we don't have any data in the database. And for that, uh, Mocha also has a couple of handy methods that will allow us to do this, that will allow us to perform some setup before and after we are doing the tests. So the first is called before. And that will allow us to do write product. We can delete many. Then we will clean up the database first. Okay. And then we are going to call done because this will also happen uh, asynchronously. So we will call the done function afterwards and then uh, then the test can proceed. We also have another function like this called after where we basically do the same. So we clean up, uh, we ensure that we don't have any products in our database before we test it and then also when we're done we remove the products that we have created in the database uh, that we used in the tests. Okay, and they will be automatically run there when we do the testing. Okay, so the next thing is that we should put some code into our first test function here. So how do we verify that we have one, we have zero products in the database? How do we do that? I think we can use some of the code from here. So we're requesting the server again. We are not requesting the welcome route anymore. We want the products. And then we're going to get the response back. Let's see here. So what should we do in here? Well, we can first, we can check up on if the response has status 200, that is one. We can also make check if the body is an array. And then finally we can check that, whoop, that the length of the body is equal to, whoops, if I can type correctly here, zero. Okay, so first we check that we get 200. That means that we have a successful response from the API based on the route here. Next we check that the body is an array and also that there is no elements in the array, that we have zero because we have been cleaning the database. Okay, so that is the first database test here and we just need to call 
done when we are finished with this. If we are having extra test cases afterwards, then it's important we, we run done here so that it will ensure that all has passed, all has completed, and all the assertion has also completed before we run the next test. So if we test out this, run the test, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we get an error in here. Let's see if I uh, had a miss. Yeah, okay, response body, the length should, should be equal to zero. Okay, so we forgot the should there. All right, so we get connected successfully to Mongo. So we can actually see that the server is connecting to the database. And we are running the test cases in here. So we get the response that we, we have zero products in the database. Okay, I think we're actually missing response body should be an array. Okay, so we can see that if we enter one in here, we will get an error because we get an array with zero products from the database. We get zero and this is the length of the array. So we don't have any products in our response. So that is the first test here that we don't have any products in the database. Next up is uh, we should try to put in a product, save a product. And for that we will basically copy this code again. Let's see here, we will have to modify it a bit. Whoop, that was a bit too much there. So, should post a valid product. So we are requesting the server and we are doing a post request now and then we need of course to let's just remove that here and recall that in the product route when we post something let's find the post here we post something we will get uh, 201 so uh, 201 is for okay it has been created and so we can check on that but we have one thing here that we also have this verified token that will prevent us from using this uh, route because it is protected and so i need to be authenticated before i can actually use this so just to test the route that is working with the database i'm just going to uh, remove the verify token on this so that it will accept that i just run it without verifying so i can test this code here that it will actually create the product and send the status code here and also send the data back so then uh, let's just first go back to the test and run uh, left and right 201 here. So we are checking on the status uh, for this. And we also need to also create a product, of course. So let's make a product here. So we, if I can type correctly here, we got the description, we got the, the price in the stock. Let's see, let's just see, see it is in stock right now. Test product. Test product description. All right, so we got a test product here and then we need to modify this a bit so we will send our product our newly created product here okay so now we have a test here the post test that should post a valid product and check on the status 201 and if we check in our 
Let's just go to MongoDB Atlas login here. Okay, so we can see here that if we, first off, we have the test database here, so it is working with the with the Node.js uh, environment that we are switching over to another test database. And we can see we have products in here, and we don't have any products at the moment, so it is zero right now, okay. So let's try to run this. So at first it's going to verify that we have zero products in the database because we uh, deleted everything before we start uh, the test. And then afterwards it's going to post a valid product and then we can just inspect it afterwards to see if it actually created it. But I think afterwards we will create a new test where we verify if we have one product in the database. But let's see first here. Let's just run the test here. Okay, so we get, uh, should verify that we have zero products that is passing. And we can see it takes some time to uh, complete because we're interfacing to the database, uh, the cloud database, and also the API. And should post a valid product also passes. Okay, so let's go back here and let's inspect our database. Okay, I think because I actually clean up afterwards. Okay, so of course I have nothing in here. We actually don't have any products here because we're cleaning up afterwards. Uh, so I think let's just, yeah, let's just create this test right after here. So we will, let's just make sure that we get, whoop. Let's make sure that we have one product in the database. So let's just modify this part here that the length of our array should be one because we just inserted a new product and this will uh, be run before we clean up the database. So there should be one product in the database. Okay, so let's run it again to see what happens. Right, should verify that we have one product now in the database and that passes. And of course now there will still be zero here because we've just cleaned out the database. If we should make a small verification that, that it is actually working, that it is actually inserting the data here, we can, uh, we can make, a, we can just remove this so it doesn't clean up afterwards, then we should be able to see this product that will be created in the database. So let's run npm test here. All right, still passes. Let's go back here and inspect MongoDB. And we can see we get our test product. So it is actually inserting products into our database, this test here. And it is also working that we have one product in our array. And we have a 200, of course. But now we're not cleaning up afterwards. So we have data in our test database. All right, so this is it for this video about how we can interface to the database and to actually test some of the routes that are using the uh, the mongodb atlas database okay so this is it for this video and in the next video i will shortly talk about how we can move maybe move some of this code here into a separate file in the tests and maybe we want to test something more we want to test the users or something then we can put all this code here and uh, some of the other code that is shared between the tests in a separate file and how we can configure the Mocha uh, configuration to, uh, to use it, right? So I hope you make these tests work and have fun with this. Bye-bye.